<laughs> this is Paul. <laughs> See, <laughs> when I was arraigned on the 5th of January of 2016, yes, I wasn't in Squim, Washington, and this county refused to admit the evidence. <laughs> now, it could be Harry, yes, the uh, director of the public defender's office, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. had advised Bruce that we're not going to represent Mr. Budnick. Yes, we're going to say that he's crazy. Pouch. Now, I'm not crazy for understanding who I am the direct descendant of. Yes. My biological grandfather, Edward Budnick, married Clara Rose Holtz. They had a baby named Paul Douglas Budnick. Yes. He married Sandra Lee Taylor, her first marriage. Yes. And I was the firstborn grandson of Eunice Condit. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, Eunice was married uh -huh, uh -huh, to Chuck, and they adopted uh, Wayne and Sandy. That's why their last name is Condit. Yes. The original birth certificate should say ARP, A-R-P. Now, since you refuse to admit the evidence that I wasn't in Squim, Washington, yes, you wouldn't allow me to call to the stand the petitioner that is now, right, a teacher in a school district, yes, and ask her why she didn't acknowledge the court order. But you keep arresting me for crimes that I didn't commit, and then you keep refusing to admit the evidence. Now, it seems very corrupt. Mm -hmm. For any elected oath of office, that would be attorney, judge, justice, mm -hmm. sheriff, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> any city council member, ooch. any county commissioner, yes, any fire chief, <clears throat> any fire marshal, ooch. any library trustee, ooch. any oath of office in this county mm -hmm. to knowingly violate the laws of the United States because the county decided they would obstruct my rights <clears throat> and they would continue to retaliate me. Oh, retali <laughs> Why don't you give me the elected results <clears throat> and the candidacy forms, yes, as well as the ballots of every individual that ran for office. <clears throat> 